My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Jade Cocoon, a JRPG on the PS1. I always want to temper it by saying a JRPG on the PS1 because no one fucking knows what Jade Cocoon is. I talk to like two other people in my lifetime. Like I, I talk about Jade Cocoon all the time. That's literally all I ever do. It's the only thing I talk about. I only actually have a vocabulary of two words, Jade and also Jade again, because I don't understand the concept of Cocoon. It's just, this game is Jade Jade, a Jade JPG on the Jade station. Okay, so whatever, that was kind of dumb, but this game, very important to me, not many other people know about it, so I will say it's a JRPG on the PS1, kind of like Final Fantasy, but not really at all like Final Fantasy, uh, kind of like Pokemon, but really not kind of like Pokemon at all. So I've tried to get all of the story out in the first episode. If you still haven't seen the first episode, there is a link Wait in the description sec. to a playlist with all of the episodes in it. Feel free to go click that. Here. This is a ring given to me by the Nagi. I, I don't think the ring actually helps you. Uh, actually, no, it helps you at one specific point, the Tears of Reese. Anyhow, uh, all of the story that you need to know about this world is right there in episode one um, and probably a little bit here at the start of this episode, but um, oh, past that, it's probably really just going to be gameplay for a very long time. I'll be thinking about you. Aw, cute! Well, she is our wife, so it's fine, right? That makes it okay? Uh, okay, so... Uh, I think... Like, you can go to a bunch of these places, and you can, yes, you can get things that will make the game easier for you when you go into the forest the first time. But it's actually so early in the game that now I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna run into it. So, we're gonna go to the Watchtower to pick up that key from Louis, the Bucktooth Dweeb. I heard what Mother Garai said. But I don't like any, like any of it. I mean, you of all, you of all people, just because Raquettes is your dad. Yeah, it's a lineage thing, buddy. You just go into the forest and get eaten by monsters. Is your flute really that powerful? <sighs> That's so lame. Shut up, Louie. Give me the key. Ha! I'll go get the calabash myself. <laughs> no, you won't. Right Actually, no. Feel free. Go. Go into the forest. No can do, little guy. Ah, uh, come on. Always fucking coming in, being rational and bullshit. I know how you feel, Louie, but you can't go. You can seek your revenge at some other time. My apologies for that snort. Besides, you know how scary the forest is, right? And how little we can do there. Oh, He's sad. Wait, what? Give me the fucking key. There you go. Cool. <sighs> okay, so I skipped what he said, because all he had to say was everything you've seen in the first episode, if you actually wanted to watch the story. Um, and if you didn't want to watch the story, why would I give it to you now? Right? Here's the TLDR of the story. Everyone in the town is currently asleep, because an herb put everyone to s Sorry, not an herb, sorry. Uh, insects put everyone to sleep. They broke out of this forest. Um, and now we need to go into the forest to get an herb to bring people back from the eternal sleep. Done. So I'll lead you there, just... Fuck off, Louie. I don't need your help. As I said, got this shit unlocked. Got rocks and moxie, and rockin' brandy socks. He's just li Okay. <sighs> Use the beetle key to open the beetle gate. What a novel idea, Louie. I'd never thought about it like that. You little prat, fuck off. Uh, okay. So we're going to save our game right here. Those are the four doors. For the four different forests. I believe there are only four forests. Like, I don't think there's a special forest that comes in later. Uh, there are ordeals, though, that come in later at the end of the game. Oh, but we will get to those in due time, I promise you that much. So I think the beetle forest is actually the far right one? If I remember correctly? Yeah! Oh, look at this shit. Memory, son? Got it. Say hello to Chorus, the blue cocoon master. Who are you? I've seen poachers who impersonate cocoon masters. 
If you are a real cocoon master, show me by playing that flute. Slowly now. Toot me a tune, boy! It's actually got some pretty dope music. It seriously is! Okay, so, uh, I did turn the music down in the options, so if you have to, turn up the volume so you can hear the music at certain points, it's actually really good. I... I know that tune. Are you the son of Riquettes, the cocoon master of Cyrus? I'm just gonna stare at him, and he's if gonna know... Riquettes yes. Been sent into the forest, the village must be in danger. Do you think so? Tell me what has happened in Cyrus. I will express all of the information in a meaningful stare. I see. So the Onibubu have reached Cyrus as well. Yep, very much. The Onibubu are the and flying insects that um, put everyone to sleep, by the way, if you skipped the first episode. Feel free to, I don't mind, I'm actually not salty about it, it's understandable. It was very dense with information and very little gameplay. Your father would never forgive me if I just let you go into the forest to die. Yet he's about to do exactly that. I am Chorus, the Blue Cocoon Master. On behalf of my comrade Riquettes, I shall initiate you to the arts of the Cocoon Masters. Oh, right. No, actually, he does tell you whatever you want to know. So at this point, I'm going to, instead of him, from my memory of 11 years old, tell you what I know about all of these. You can attack shit. Uh, elemental attacks of different types, so fire against water, oh, sorry, water against fire is stronger. Um, I think fire against wind is stronger, wind against earth, earth against water, I don't know. I'm not certain. Anyhow, there's different elemental combinations that give you different damage against different other elements. Uh, defense works similarly. Capture, you can capture beasts. You, like Pokemon, have to you put them on a low health first, and then you have a greater chance of capturing them. You have an innate capture skill that will make capturing beasts easier. Purification, uh, the beasts, it's kind of like, what is it, Pokemon Shadow? Or the game on the fucking GameCube, where you have to purify Pokemon of- I don't know, I've never played the game, so I probably shouldn't make that analogy. Regardless, uh, when you capture something, you purify it, and then you can actually use it as your own beast of, uh, beast of burden, but, uh, beast of burden, basically. Summoning, you can summon them in battle and use them as your beast of burden. Merging, you can breed them with one another and you can create an ultimately stronger beast. And say goodbye is telling this motherfucker that we're going to play well. the game our own way. Now, you must try to apply what you have learned. Thank you for literally all of the things you just I taught me, Chorus. Inside this forest. If you arrive there safely, you shall receive my approval. Wow. You think I need that much? You think I need your approval that much? I'm gonna fucking turn around and go home, motherfucker. Bang my wife. My wife? If you get that reference, I hate you. Usually, I say, if you get that reference, oh my god, I love you, and that type of stuff. If you get that reference, um, actually, you know what, I'll have to temper that. If you get that reference from Borat, uh, you're fine. But if you get that reference from Comedy Bang Bang, formerly known as Comedy Death Ray, hosted by Scott Alkerman, the podcast, uh, then I hate you because you're basically me. Patamiel, as I said, first one we're gonna fight, um, I believe we have like 11 empty cocoons. So what we want to do starting out is just capture dudes all the time, just capture dudes constantly. So, every single fight, I'll try and end in a capture. I don't know if I can hit this guy one more time. If if I get a high damage roll, I may just outright kill him. Oh, thank god. Uh, okay, so we're gonna try and capture him. You can see just below our health bar, our capture level is 1. But the thing is, he's on 3 HP, so I actually... I don't think it's possible for me to miss. Watch this guy's fucking majestic moves right now. Watch this shit, guys. It's really important. Calm down. Just watch it. I fucking remembered the tune! Oh, man. It's been 11 years. Uh, anyway, like a Pokeball, it goes down to that, like, shrink, and then it'll pulse and it'll break if you aren't going to capture them. So that's... Okay, so yeah, we have 11 empties and uh, one captured, so. And a Firefly, I believe. No, I'm not certain what Firefly means. But there we go. 
Done. We have captured a dude. There is another dude in the background. We are going to go capture him. But the majestic dance, I want to talk about it for a second. As a child, I thought that was the fucking coolest thing I'd ever seen in my life. So I would practice in the mirror that dance. And I mean all of the moves, like holding both of his hands to his pocket so that he can pull out the sphere of light and then play the, uh, play the cocoon, play the flute with the other hand. I did all of that shit. And it just, it, it's a wave of positive emotions to watch that again after so much time. So we're going to have a, a little bit of a look at our actual things that we have. See if we can get some description on them. Cool, so we actually can't get any description on them. Uh, our attack stat, 22, 24, 20 for magic attack, and then magic D, uh, which ma means magic defense, not magic dong, uh, is 23 and then speed. Um, Hunter's earring. Oh, right, the hunter's earring, yeah, teleports you back to town. That's actually ri Does it get used up? I can't remember, because I, I... Hmm, that's actually really cool. They have something like... Oh, fireflies. Okay, so there's... There's... Yeah, it's the thing we've captured. Cool. Yeah. Time for you to get captured, Patamiel 2. Also, you can't allow them pro uh, to approach you from behind, otherwise they'll get two free attacks of opportunity. If you know what I mean by attack of opportunity, you are a nerd. Uh... Ultimately, my base goal for strategy in the early game of this is I'm going to get a lot of fire dudes and then I'm going to make all of the fire dudes into one fire dude um, and then he's going to be the best around. Ain't nothing ever going to keep him down. He's the best around. So here's some magic that Pet Miel has. Uh, obviously, in the start, you really, you, I mean, you have to play as yourself. You have to play as Rhapsody or Levant or whatever. This is the dance that I know, right? Pulling that thing out and then playing the flute and doing the like sway side to side. That's what I mean by the dance, by the way. So start the sway, start the sway. He's not doing the sway. Oh no, he does the sway when he plays the flute by itself. Never mind. You'll see that later. I know that one as well, though. Yeah, that dude's totes captured. Totes, bro. Yeah, and that jump. That's why I uh, was fascinated by that jump in the first episode, because I learned that jump as well. So, it's it's very obvious. We got one level the first time, and then we got half a level the second time. So now, it you know, it's it's very... Uh, a, a very uh, obvious experience system to figure out. Uh, if I recall... It's so difficult to traverse these backgrounds in this. Oh no! Right, so here's something really interesting about the PS1. You can always tell when something is not part of the background and that you're supposed to interact with it. Just above my head, there's something I'm supposed to interact with. You can see it. Oh no, I just left the map. Come on, get back there. It's up this way. Oh, fuck you. Okay, there's one on this screen as well. There it is. Look. A stone tablet leans against the base of a rock. Knowledge one picked up. What is a knowledge one? Um, ooh, it's invaluables. Yeah. Okay, so water-based creatures... Yeah, it's water-based creatures are effective against fire-based creatures, and fire-based creatures are effective against wind-based creatures. Those are actually going to be pretty important, because as a child, I think I ignored all of those... Uh, so I should... Oh, wait! It's the same one on both screens. Cool. Uh, so I should check those out, uh, just to refresh my memory. The second one should just tell us the relation of Earth, and then we'll be able to figure out the rest. Now, I'm gonna save the episode... Save it here. Hang on, how long's the episode been going for? 30... Shit! We're done! That was a fucking short episode. Save it, right? What? That 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 should be it. No, that's eight minutes. That can't be the whole episode, right? You know what? I'm gonna can. I I haven't got a timer running, so I first off need to turn on the timer so I know how long these episodes are gonna be each individually. Um, I don't know what this does. 
I think you have to have beasts or something to interact with that. But I'm going to turn a timer on. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just going to go for 10 more minutes. So if this ends up being an obnoxiously long episode, I apologize. If it doesn't, uh, and it turns out being way too short, then I apologize for that as well. Okay, so that, I believe, is a wind beast. I'll fight it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it down. Ain't no party like an S-Club party. I don't want to walk off the map, so I want him to come back. Where's the wind beast? Oh, come on. Don't fucking leave me alone. Wind beast. Oh, fire beast. Yeah, fire gremlin. I think it's a fire gremlin. It totally is. Patalchu. So again, all... Uh, Obviously, it's, it's kind of much more important to be a master in one area than a apprentice in a bunch. So you don't want someone who is fire, wind, water, and earth. You want someone who is straight up fire, uh, and they specialize in that. Unfortunately, I think I have to kill this dude. I, I'll try and capture him, but if it doesn't work, I can't do it. I, I'm, I think he has to have red health to capture, but I think if I hit him one more time, he'll die. So I'm going to try and capture him once, but if he dies, he dies. Uh, sorry, if he doesn't get captured, he's probably going to have to die. You may see him break it. Oh, it doesn't look like he will. What? Oh, fuck yes. Oh, yeah. That feels good. At level 1, I actually think you can only capture creatures if you have um, them in red. But level 2, I think it's a percentage base for whether or not you can do that. Check our status. That's fine. I don't care, actually. Let us continue along in our path. You may see uh, black outlines on a bunch of stuff right now. I can see them too. Um, unfortunately, that is just an effect of the emulator. Uh, actually, at this point, I should probably know. Yes, I am using an e Oh, cool. Bag of stuff. Shab liquor. Cool. I think that's actually health for minions, and mugwort health, uh, herb is health for yourself. Anyhow, I am using an emulator, yes, but it is entirely legal, because I, first off, own the, uh, PS1, uh, and PSX, and the video game Jade Cocoon, both legitimate copies, so it's completely fine. Don't worry, I'm not about to get raided by the FBI. Not the FBI, it'd be, like, ASIO or the SWAT team. For Australia, at least. Oh, shit, this dude can actually kill me. Hang on. Use, uh... Grows in opens areas, increases health, and slows bleeding. Grind leaves into... Okay. Flaring powder. Okay, so that that is for minions, so I actually have to use Mugwort on my uh, self. Just to make sure I survive this fight. I don't want to die. Not on my first, not on my first actual battle episode. Regardless, uh, yeah, I am using an emulator, but the thing is, there's a bunch of bugs if I use. Uh, there's there's a bunch of settings for PS1 emulation, but if I set it to one of the options that I have, then there's a bug with the health bars where they are 200% the size they should be, uh, and it kind of ruins combat screens. But if I set it to the other option, there's black lines uh, across a lot of things. So, you know, you get one or the other, unfortunately, you can't have both. You can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you might just find that you get what you need. That is by the Poet Laureate. Uh, the Rolling Stones. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Yeah, I'm getting the notes all wrong, but I remember the basic tune. Excuse me, dear God, Ryan, that was rude. I remember the basic tune, and that's an enough for me. That was a hiccup, not a burp. Second one. The first one was a burp. Another shab licker. Okay. So I can uh, capture three more beasts, and then I will have enough experience for capture level four. Plus, I'll have way more things to merge when I get back into town. So actually, I'm going to do that. Uh, what I'm gonna do? Mugwort on myself. Perfect. That's just to make sure that I don't die in a fight. I don't want to have to use Mugwort in a fight because it gives up a turn. Okay, so these guys are water creatures. I don't particularly want them. Um, yeah, Mukhemu or whatever it's called. 
I don't particularly want them right now, but at some point in the future I might, and they're not too difficult to catch. We are way, way too fast for them. The only thing is I believe they can heal themselves. So I hope he doesn't do that. Okay. You fucker. Alright, so I think we do 10 damage with each shot. Uh, there's a very small damage range, plus or minus one. He's defending, so he should do less damage this time. Yep. Unfortunately, if I hit it... If he's not defending and I hit him one more time, I think I am certain to kill him. So I need to defend until he heals or defends. And then I can hit him. Okay, so he's defending. Now I can attack. Excellent. Six health is going to be enough. I'll attack him. No, not attack him. I'm not going to attack him. What am I fucking doing? Oh, he's going to heal. You bitch. Stop being so bitchly about it. I just want to capture you and enslave you for all time. There we did nine damage. So there is a little um, demonstration of the damage range that exists. This is actually really interesting. He defended there. Shit. If he defended there and we got three damage rather than four, uh, we would have been able to hit him with confidence this turn. But instead, we have to fucking defend and wait for him to defend so we can hit him again. God damn it. And you know he's going to heal. Uh, I could hit him again, but I think I'll be able to capture him fine. I'm level three. He's almost no health. Oh, that... I love the motions. It's... Oh, it's... I'm not going to say it's actually well animated or anything like that. But what I will say is it's so nostalgic. Oh my god. It makes my heart burst with great feelings. And... Oh shit, it's been 20 minutes or something like that. And I was thinking you're cutting the episode. What am I fucking talking about? Um, I should be able to at least capture two more things before the end of this episode. Sorry, I just realized I'm looking at the time code and for some reason... Oh, Mirror of Diva? <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore everything I was trying to say. Uh, okay, so what's the Mirror of Diva? Reflects all unclean elements. Protects against all abnormal states, but will break in the process. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So if I'm fighting something and I want to kill it, I'll probably use that. Uh, oh, right. Circle is not run. Circle is going to the menu. So I can run towards this guy by doing that. There we go. Triangle is run in this. I don't know why you needed to know that. Uh, I... For an emulator, it was fairly easy to map it to my PS2 control- PS3 controller shit. Um, so yeah, it's actually kind of really... Really neat way to play PS1 games. Shit, he's defending? That's the fucking easiest capture of my life! So... I implore you, at this point, please fall in love with this scene where he does this, because it's unskippable, and he's gonna do it all the fucking time. You've already seen it, like, five times now. I, one, two, three, four, five. Literally five, and this is the sixth. You've already seen it a bunch of times. You're gonna have to see it a lot more. Holy shit. There is a lot of capturing going on, and in fact, I don't even really care much about killing things at all. I like to capture almost everything, and then get a really big dude, and then run through the game killing everything. Ooh, chest. Can I open it? It's locked. Well, fuck you too, chest. <laughs> I didn't want your shit anyway. Um, so I guess we can make a pretty powerful water creature. I mean, what? We've got three Markboos. Markabu. Makambu. Oh, Makambu, yeah. Makambu. Yeah, what? We got three of them. We can make a pretty strong thing. Oh, thank you for attacking and not healing. Capture one. I mean, you merge two of them, you get a pretty good one, and then you merge the third one on it. I think. I don't know optimal merging strats. I'll figure it out over the course of the Let's Play. Uh, in fact, if you are a huge Jade Cocoon enthusiast, and I haven't finished the game yet, because I do record these quite a time in advance. Um, if you are a huge Jade Cocoon enthusiast, feel free to send me a message or comment down below. Oh, he's trying to escape. Yeah, it didn't work. He was doing... He, he wasn't doing the submissive motion. He was trying to actually move out of it. 
and sometimes they will actually manage to break out. So there we go, capture level up. We are now an apprentice. Woo, yeah. Whoa, that was way too high. Oh, yeah, is what I meant to do because I've done that in that exact same tone consistently throughout the entire video game. Uh, throughout my entire video gaming career. Or, uh, career. I mean, my hobby as a Let's Player. I've done that a lot of times. Um, okay, so thank God for the based Hunter's Earring because we are not particularly interested in teleporting... Uh, sorry, in walking all of the way back. Okay, so yeah, you can move that up. Cool. So that's why we couldn't go at that from a different direction, because that was blocking the path. There's all of the rendering things that I explained are not my fault beforehand. Uh, also, now we can go the opposite direction and hope to encounter some wind creatures. Oh, yeah. Wait, is there a save point up here? No, there's Patiamol. No, that's not a Patiamol. Shit, did he get me from behind? Pat's I'll shoot. Okay, he didn't get me from behind. Okay, cool. Because I walked past him and he ran into, like, basically my left butt cheek. So I was kind of hoping against all hopes that he wasn't detected as colliding with the back of the character. Otherwise, he gets two free attacks. And that sucks because he is a very offensive character. And offensive in the sense that he does offensive things. Like, um... <sighs> attempt to mimic fellatio on religious statues. That was actually in the news very recently. There was a uh, girl in Kansas, I believe, or a boy in Kansas, or a something in Kansas, a teenager of some sort, uh, who performed mimicry of uh, oral sex on a statue of Jesus and was imprisoned in jail for two years. That is the daftest shit I've ever heard in my life. You can be offended, but you can't fucking put someone in jail for being offended. Oh, that's... Oh, it, it, we've got to capture eight creatures to level up again, but it makes me feel really bad. Eight level one creatures. I think it's actually less if we get uh, stronger creatures. So, we are very rapidly nearing 30 minutes. I would love... Oh, that's a petit mill. I would love, love, love if I could actually get to a save point at some point. Now, obviously, in your first journey into the jungle, uh, we got fun and games. We got everything you want. Are you gonna... I can't... Uh, no, nope. Completely blanking on the next word. Anyway, obviously in our first journey to the jungle, we want to pick up as much as we can. Right? That's how a power gamer does it. You just get all of the things you can, and then you reset, and then you get all the things you can. You don't, like, go piecemeal. That's the way you do things slowly. I'm trying to power game, motherfucker. It's important. At this point, if I don't find a, uh, a save point on the next screen that we move into, I'll just cut the episode and pause, right? It's already 30 minutes. I decided I wanted to keep these to 25 minutes. That clearly didn't work. So yeah, you can see he's doing the submissive position the entire time, not even trying to break out. He knows his place. In Markakun. Get in my belly. It's my fat bastard impression. Uh, if you haven't watched Austin Powers, I should tell you, it's actually pretty good. You should go watch that. It's actually surprisingly good. I mean, like, it's not high comedy, but it's laughable. Higher attack and mana values result in more effective normal special and magic attacks. Uh, mana value only, I think, is for magic attacks. The higher your speed, the more turns you receive to attack your enemy. As you saw, uh, against Makabu, um, Makambu, one of the Makambus, I got two attacks in a row. My speed is just way too high for him, because I got to attack way too many times for him. Uh, okay, so that doesn't look like a save point at all. So, let's bring up the status of our character Rhapsody so that I can talk to you for a second and say, if you've liked the video, please click like. It does help me grow my audience and get my content out to new people. If you dislike the video, feel free to click dislike as too. That's that's fine as well. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this now, you'll be able to find a link in the playlist down below. 
uh, sorry, a link to a playlist in the description down below with all of the episodes of Jade Raccoon, uh, Cocoon that have been released so far. My name's been Rhapsody, that's been Jade Cocoon, a JRPG on the PS1. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, and we'll see you next time.